is at the Kingston Mall functioning um, properly at the moment. Yes, at the moment our morgue, uh, our morgue is functioning. And it is able to preserve bodies for how long would you say? That, that has not been tested, but we have not had any problems with um, bodies before. Okay. Um, so is there an, a length of time that the morgue normally keeps the body before it, pass, it hands over that body to the, to the um, family? The length of time depends on the, um, sometimes it depends on the availability or the readiness of a death certificate. And sometimes it depends on the readiness of the family to accept the body. When I speak of readiness for, of the death certificate, I am speaking about the actual preparation of the death certificate. If for one reason the physician has, um, has delayed in writing it, it may not be ready to hand over to the, to the, to the relative or next of kin of the person who has passed. Um, in such cases, the body remains at the morgue because anyone who, anybody leaving the morgue at the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital leaves with a death certificate. Um, readiness of the family, um, there are times when we would have requests that everything is ready, but the families may request of us to keep some a body for them for a particular period of time until one either until they have sorted out um, the the particular undertaker that they would like to have or until a specific family member arrives in St. Vincent and the Grenadines from overseas. Mm -hmm. Different things may delay but the delays are not significant. Okay. Now what happens normally to the body of an infant that is either stillborn or happens to pass shortly after birth, what's normally the procedure that, that is involved there? So if, um, if we have stillbirths, the bodies are sent to the morgue. Um, the parents or parent is given the option to have the body of the baby. Some people would choose to do a burial um, by themselves. Others will choose to have the hospital perform that burial for them. In such cases, the body remains at the in the morgue until we have um, prepared the paperwork with um, the different entities that are involved, meaning like the tongue board to get the burial spots and so forth for the little baby. There are times when a, when a mommy, a baby may be born alive and if it's, a, if it's a live birth, the birth has to be registered at the registry. After the birth is registered at the registry, the parent brings a birth certificate to us so that a death certificate can be prepared for the baby. Sometimes this may take some time um, for different reasons. One, the mommy may not be well enough to handle that process on her own and may not have somebody to do that for her. Um, two, um, they may be um, living in distances that are not um, accessible or readily accessible readily reachable mm -hmm. right they may not be living in areas that they can access the registries processes immediately mm -hmm. um, so the mommies may be discharged they may go home and then they will take care of that process after so that may take some time until a death certificate is prepared for a live birth baby who was born alive we cannot bury that baby so that baby may remain in the morgue until that process is completed uh, under what grounds does the hospital normally perform an autopsy on an infant if the baby is born alive and then passes away after okay so autopsies can be all autopsies are requested 
either by um, police, but police can request an autopsy on, a, on, a, on an individual, mm -hmm. um, or a physician can request an autopsy on an individual, and these include babies. Mm -hmm. So if a baby passes and the reasons are not known, um, for, for example, healthy babies do not die. So if perchance a baby passes, um, the physician may want to ask the coroner or the pathologist to perform, um, to perform an autopsy to determine the cause of death. So it's based on, for it, autopsies are done for medical reasons or in the case of the police requesting to determine if there was any foul play in the um, death of the person. So can a parent then request having a healthy baby being trusted and can that parent say whether for religious purposes or otherwise that I don't want an autopsy performed? Even, though if, even if a physician says I would like to find out why the baby has passed. Well sometimes, yes the parent can say that. Um, a parent can um, Anyone can say, any, a next of kin can also say that they will not like um, an autopsy to be performed on the individual. However, if it is, if it is determined that there may be, if it is determined that there may be some underlying cause or if it is determined that this baby should not have passed, then we will, we will just urge the parent, we'll speak to them, we'll do different counseling, um, we will get them to understand or to appreciate the necessity of having an autopsy done so that we can determine what caused your baby to die. Right? But you can make a request, um, but sometimes it can be, that request can be um, overturned in the interest of um, finding out the truth and finding out the cause of death for um, of a baby. Sometimes it can be related to public health issues. Other times it can be um, based on strong suspicions of um, different things such as like abuse or um, foul play. Either reasons, persons can have their um, that request be overturned. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back to the burial of, of the of babies. Um, one of the things that, that I think struck everybody in the, in the um, case of the U.S. from Helen Island, I, I, Trisha, I think her name is, is that she would have claimed that there were, was a multitude of bodies at the mark. Now, when, we, when, when you have babies who pass away, is it that they are buried maybe within a month, or are they buried together? Is it that you know several babies might be buried in a, in a mm -hmm. month? No, mm -hmm. we do not do mass burial. Okay. Each individual baby gets an individual box and an individual burial spot. Okay. So we do not have mass burial of babies at this hospital. Mm. Can you speak to whether there are any there's a significant you know, or a backlog in the burial of babies, given the fact that we've gone to, you know, the eruption of loss of prayer, has there been any delay in that regard? Um, well, the loss of prayer um, eruption has not really affected um, the processes in that regard. Um, as I said before, there may be a different number of reasons why a baby may not be buried within a specific period of time. Um, be it um, registration of birth or getting in touch with having the parent to come in to decide on whether or not they want us to bury the baby or whether they will themselves take on the burial of the baby. Those reasons would delay a baby from being buried. Can you speak to any, she, the, 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 the lady would have claimed that she would have seen babies in various stages of deterioration. Given the fact that our mouth is functioning at its regular capacity, um, can you speak to whether, or rather can you confirm or deny whether there's any truth in, in, in that statement? Um, 
from time to time we have had um, bodies in the morgue that are adults and for one reason or another for example um, we've had bodies in the morgue for a number of years because of um, legal reasons over those period over those period of years we've had issues where um, the persons attending to the bodies in the morgue may have complained that there was there was a stench right um, however those that is expected over a number of, of years after a number of years the, the fact of the matter is we do not freeze we do not have the process where we where we freeze bodies the natural the natural procession or the natural progression of death is that after you die tissues begin to break down in the absence of the freezing process we may have that happening over a number of years in the case of a baby, baby's skin, they're not as hard as ours, adults. Mm -hmm. They are thin, they are fragile, and they may not stand up to the, the rigors or, or the temperatures as well as an adult body would. So in the case, um, in the case referenced in the news um, we had a baby that had passed in December um, had been in the morgue from December to June that that length of time that the baby had been here with us um, was not something that we had control over. As I said, there are different reasons why a body would remain at the facility for that long. And there are some of those reasons pointed out that were applicable in this case. Um, so, as I said again, given the nature of a baby, babies are not that, um, their skin is not that, hard or, or, or to withstand extreme temperatures, whether too cold or too, um, too hot. Um, so, is there an internal investigation of any sort as it relates to purpose or are you confident in the hospital um, management of problems to that Well, having, um, having gotten wind of because we have as i said i've spoken to her um i've reviewed the notes and um, the areas that mr lassie had pointed out were of much concern to her i did some further investigations and um while the process was not as smooth or as perfect as we would like it to be I think the process um, I would consider it to be satisfactory. Um, there are areas that we need to improve on, but I generally think that um, it is satisfactory. Right. To be honest mm -hmm. and to be fair to Miss Selassie, mm -hmm. I think she's grieving. Um, I don't want to blame her too much because I've spoken to her. She's a pleasant person. Mm -hmm. She is not rude. Um, she is somebody who listens. And I think she is really just hurting over the loss of her baby. I do not think that she means to lash out. 
at our hospital i really don't think that because having spoken to her from when she came she came in december and since that time miss celestia and i and i have had frequent conversations um because we have prepared like medical re reports for her for her baby she spoke about past experiences where she have had pleasant exceptional treatment by the staff at the hospital um she even spoke about her experience here working and dealing with the patients um you know in camaraderie with the nurses making joke and all of that so i i think i think at this point i really do believe that she is grieving and i do not believe that she has any ill intent towards although i know that she has indicated that um a lawsuit would be coming our way i really do believe that it is all in grief i i i don't think that she means any harm to the system i think that it is um i really believe it's grief because i've spoken to her